Hey there, it's Investor Zilla here on the 6th of May, 2021. And holy smokes, has it been a red day in the market for me and I, probably for a lot of you as well. I have literally lost a fortune today. And over the last few months, I've lost even more. Now, I am optimistic the pain will end soon. And I'm funneling as much cash as I can into the market to help build out my positions while they are down. This is a great buying opportunity. Wow, so let's look at a few stocks from today. I'm not sure where all these ended up after taking these screenshots. But the time of these screenshots, Lemonade, which actually did purchase shares up today, is down 8.5% and is under $75. That is unbelievable. Upwork, another stock I keep an eye on, down another 4%. And now under $40 to thirty-nine, thirty-three at this time. That's another one that I think has huge upside long term. But it's just falling and falling and falling. A firm, a stock that is about a third of its all-time high, is down 8.16% and closing in on $50. Now, I do own some shares of this stock as well. I may end up having to add some more positions here because this is getting juicy. But right now, this company is just getting destroyed. In fact, it hit a new 12-month low today during trading hours. Oh, my God. My favorite stock is just getting crushed. My average cost is about $30. And this lost 8.37% at the time of the screenshot. And it's down to $27.71. And there is literally... No news that I could find that would justify this kind of job. Now, I do have my position built out in this one, but dang, is it tempting to buy more of Asana. This company is just one that I believe will be a 4X easily. But right now, it's losing us money. Carvana down 7.77%, and it's just taking a beating. I don't own this company, but it's one that I monitor quite frequently. God, my Coinbase positions are just dying on me. Now, I am adding some shares this month, so it's actually good this is dropping. But I'm really, right now, I'm just kind of monitoring because I don't know how much this pain is going to keep hitting this. I would love for this to get under 250 before I buy in my next chunk of shares. But at the time of the screenshot, it's down almost 7% today. Snowflake down 9.11% and is under $200. This company was the darling of Wall Street not that long ago. And it's actually one that I'm starting to get very interested in buying right now. And Rocket Companies, I mentioned this yesterday, down 14.65%. This company did have reduced guidance for Q2, which caused a massive sell-off. But in my opinion, it wasn't this bad to justify nearly a 15% drop in the stock price. Etsy, a powerhouse of a stock that is down 15.75% today. What in the world happened with Etsy? The reported earnings after hours, and without going into all the details, looks like their earnings went pretty well. But during the day today, 15.75%. What caused that sell-off? And Unity, this one is just unbelievable to me. Is this stock really headed back down to $50? This is one of my favorite stocks, and it was down 5.7% today. It's below $90. I did buy more shares of this today, but I am just floored. Unity is below 50% of its 52-week high at the time of the screenshot. These stocks are just getting devastated. But you wouldn't know it by looking at the indexes. Everything looks fine here. It's only high growth, popular retail stocks that are getting crushed. It almost feels like hedge funds are trying to teach retail investors a lesson. They're not backing any of our popular stocks in the retail world. Stocks are getting destroyed after earnings, before earnings, with good earning reports. Companies are losing billions in market cap with no catalyst whatsoever for why it's happening. Yet, the index looks like it's a mild day in the market. 
Now, is it possible that retail investors are just selling out to pay 2020 taxes? Yeah, I still owe about $20,000 that I'm going to have to pay on May 17th as well. But I should be able to avoid, you know, selling shares to cover that. So is the main reason for the sell-off here pressure from retail investors taking profits to pay taxes? From what I can tell, that doesn't look like the reason. I did find this article, which points out that retail investors are still buying, while Bank of America is reporting that hedge funds are selling a record amount right now. The article says clients were net sellers of $2.2 billion of U.S. equities for the third week in a row. So we are getting massive selling pressure, not from the retail side, but from the hedge funds. There will be a time, though, when prices get so out of whack that it would be nonsense not to purchase some of these companies. Like, are we really going to see Unity at $50 or Tesla in the 400s? Are we going to see Asana drop to the teens or Upwork drop under 30? I have no idea where the bottom is here. And honestly, it can be a bit scary to see the market in this much turmoil. The main thing I'm nervous about is that people are going to rush out of the market and not come back. I'm sad for people that just started investing this year because you're probably down big. Our sectors, growth sectors, retail sectors are just getting crushed, wrecked, destroyed. So today, I run across all my portfolios, or all my brokerages, and I added up. I lost $16,732. Now, since February 6th of 2021, I have lost $97,387. Now, that is just an insane fortune for me. And it's honestly painful to see that number. I honestly try not to pay too much attention to my losses, just like I try not to get too fixated on my gains so I don't make emotional decisions. My overall portfolio is now under half a million. I do have other assets outside the stock market, like crypto and real estate, but this is a ton of money for me to lose in a three-month period. I am confident it will come back. I just don't know when. What I really need right now is more cash. The market is like prime buying, but almost all my cash reserves are used up as I've been buying heavily as the market has crashed downwards. I may end up having to rebalance some of my portfolio from some of my stable stocks and put it into some of my longer, more upside stocks. Right now, my wealth is tied up into a few securities that have less upside. So rebalancing is starting to make more sense. I'm not sure though. I'll have to see how things play out, but right now I'm just thinking about like ways that I can get more money to put into the market. I did sell a property, which allowed me to put more cash in in the month of May though. Now, I've been pushing for this goal for a while. I want to have $1 million in the stock market by the end of 2023. To do this, I need to make some serious returns on my investments because there is no way I can put now $500,000 into the market in less than two years. Currently, I've been funneling about 40 to 50 to sometimes 60,000 a year, hoping to increase that, but it's going to be hard. I have several positions I believe will, you know, 2x, 3x, maybe 4x in this time period. But I also have some massive tax liabilities I need to fund oh, because some of my wealth is being tied up in private companies. I want to try to keep this channel updated as I make my way to $1 million. I'm going to push so hard to try to make that. Now, this market is scary, and I'm holding on for dear life. I'm not selling. I'm not going to be scared away by hedge funds. I'm going to push through and make it to that $1 million mark. If you want to help me reach that goal, please take a moment and smash that like button and subscribe. I'm trying to make two to three videos a week on this channel while working full time. And I'm investing into new equipment to try to improve this, the quality of these videos as well. Okay, well, that's it for today's video. Be curious to see how you guys did in the market today. But until next time, invest safely.